Hello, and welcome to the first installment of our weekly music devotion series from Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. My name is Matthew, and I serve as our principal organist. Throughout this series, we'll be hearing from many of our talented musicians in the Our Savior's community. They'll be sharing a brief devotion related to upcoming Sunday texts to guide our time as listeners. Then they will offer a time for musical reflection. I'd like to begin with talking about listening, a topic that is integral to music making, music appreciation, and just living in the world, especially with our current events. In music making, listening is key to just about everything I do. When I'm playing the organ, I'm constantly listening to the sound that I'm creating. Is it too loud? Is it too soft? What is the timbre? Harsh? Mellow? Is the tempo too fast? Too slow? These are all considerations happening in a split second over and over to best reflect the musical moment at each point in a piece. When I'm singing or playing the trumpet with other people, I might also have to think about whether I'm in tune with the other musicians or whether my sound is blending well with the others in the group. A really talented group is constantly listening to make sure that they have one unified sound. When I played in the St. Olaf Band, we would be constantly reminded that due to the function of sound waves, an in-tune, unified sound is actually louder than everyone trying to play their brains out without considering the whole group. In this week's gospel, Jesus gives us the charge to go and make disciples of all nations and to teach them everything I have commanded you. In the second reading, Paul tells the Corinthians to put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love will be with you. One statement focuses outward and the other inward, but they are most certainly interconnected. Our world seems very disconnected at the moment. There is so much information, so many voices trying to be heard. I find myself often thinking, where does my voice fit in all of this? To really find a place for my voice, I feel like I have to start by listening. I think Paul agrees, and I don't think we can faithfully carry out Jesus' charge without first taking Paul's advice to put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, and live in peace. Then the God of love and peace will be with us. This applies to our church, this applies to our families, this applies to our world. So as you listen to the beautiful soaring melodies and bittersweet harmonies, focus your listening. What emotion does the music carry within you? As you start to identify some of those emotions, shift your focus to your life. How do you listen to the words of scripture? What emotions do you hear in those words? How do you listen to the words of others? Loved ones, community members, words coming through our many devices. What emotions do you hear interlaced in those words? I hope that if we can listen, then we can find where our voices fit. Then they may be amplified to share our God of love and peace. <laughs>